Uh, this is the lovely sea lion rock wall. We are doing a preservation, restoration of this great wall that was built in 1932. Any of these kind of um, walls that are right on the cliff are really challenging um, because we can't do it like they did. Probably just guys hanging all over the place. We got to be a little more safety conscious. It's pretty amazing and being able to kind of bring that up with people. Can you imagine living up here in the, in, in the 30s, no highway, leaning off this cliff, probably cold, foggy and wet, uh, you know, taking rock from just across the, across the way here. It must have been quite, quite an epic job. We have a set, a pair of guys that are strictly our demo guys. They have got the knowledge to be able to take it apart, label it for us, label the caps, take the caps, set them aside, and then demo the wall down basically two feet below grade, and that gets us our starting point. When the wall was originally constructed, they would have absolutely used the stone that was as close as possible, which of course is across the street. The other challenge to this is to is to make it look like it was. So, you know, reusing the capstones and reusing, basically reusing every crumb um, or piece of stone that we get out of the wall is going back in the wall. We have to add a lot of rock. That's kind of a challenge too, is to get the new rock blended in with the old rock. So we're using a quarry out of, outside of Waldport. Um, that has a very similar stone to what you see here. All stonework is a challenge. It's like a giant puzzle. Um, you gotta make the stuff work. You gotta make it fit. I think it's great that we're able to bring it up, preserve it, restore it, so that we can um, get more appreciation from people just driving through. I mean, I think the locals are always gonna love it. It's a beautiful site, incredibly beautiful vistas. My name is Derek Nikas. I'm a second generation Mason. Uh, my name is Sarah Jolving. I am the Region 2 ODOT Cultural Resources Specialist.